anybody want to know what's up in the future? Read the inside information. Satan already knows what his end going to be like. And because he's got inside information, he's trying to stop you and I from getting what God said is going to happen in the future. But see, if you lack the inside information and you're just living your life day by day, you're going to be at a disadvantage to those who are reading the info. Oh. Tell you that, but if you want to know what your future is going to be like, you got to read the inside information. The Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 3, Verse 7, surely the Lord, God, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Look at the value of inside information. Before you even get into a thing, God will start talking to you. Hit your neighbor and say, neighbor, but you got to listen. It's amazing how many of us run our lives into the dirt because we don't want to listen. And because we don't want to listen, there's sorrows that we experience that we didn't have to even have. There's some disappointments that knocks on our doors because we didn't want to hear the inside information. Parents will tell a child, well, listen, this is what you ought to do. But your child will look at you and say, but this is what I'm going to do. Same thing natural, same thing spiritual. God, our Father, tell us, his children, what we ought to do, but we still tell them what we... High five, your, your neighbor said, you better listen now, you better listen. Inside information. Hold on. So God will reveal his secrets to the ones that he loves. Because he's got a plan for us. I know that the Bible tells me he's got a plan for me. And no matter where I find myself out in life, he's going to make a way out of nowhere. Because he said, I'm going to prosper you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to bring you out when folks trying to bring you down. But I... That's the kind of God I serve. It's the kind of God that says, I'll never abandon you. I got some inside information. So even when discouragement tries to overwhelm me, because of the inside information, I can handle what I'm dealing with now. Oh, I could have got a, good, a real good hit on that organ that one down. Did you hear what I just said? Because of the inside information, I can handle what I'm dealing with now because I already know what it's going to turn out to be. But see, if you don't know what it's Tell your neighbor, inside information. What is the importance of having inside information? See, when you got inside information, it gives you courage. It will not only give you courage, but it'll give you some strength. Oh, am I right about it? See, when you go to the book of Judges, and this is not on the slide, but put it up there. Judges chapter 7, verse 9. We read about a story where Gideon got 3,000 men. 32,000 men. Somebody say 32,000. Now, if I had 32,000 members, Lord have mercy. That was tithing every day and giving every day. I wouldn't worry about a thing. Because if only half of them do what they're supposed to do, we still wouldn't have to worry about a thing. But see, God says, I never want you to trust in people. Oh, hit your neighbor on the right and say, that's part of my problem. I'm putting too much confidence in people. 
And when people don't do what I think they ought to do, it messed my whole life up. It messed my mind up. It messed my joy up. It messed my peace up. But let me tell you something. You better put your hope in God. 